And what's up, people? The Super Bowl is officially over. Rams win 23-20. to 20. Um, Watching the game, that was a very – let me ask y'all something. Let me, just, let me just go ahead and put that out there. Put this out there. Is it just me or did that game kind of – I'm not going to say it was – Boring. It wasn't a boring game. But the way it ended was very. What's the word I'm thinking of? Oh, man. Underwhelming. It was just kind of like. First of all, let me tell y'all something. For all the let me apologize first for all the coaches and the players out there. Who this has happened to you, and I and I'm and I really talked bad about y'all, and I and it might have been because I was at work. I was at work watching it, so it might I might have been in the middle of doing something, so I didn't realize it, or maybe it was because I wonder if there was a commercial right before the play. But the point I'm trying to make is. I thought when when Joe Burrow was was taken down by Aaron Donald and threw up that threw up the pass for the last play of the game or the last play of, of the series, I thought that was third down. I thought that was third down. And looking back at it, why didn't they run the ball? Run the ball again. You just need three points. Run the ball again. If if you're going to pass the ball in that situation, it's fourth and one, fourth and inches, really. If you're going to pass the ball in that situation, it has to be a free throw. It has to be a free throw. Either a slant or a comeback route, You have to, you back shoulder throw. It has to be a free throw type of pass. I would have ran a draw play probably just to throw the defense off. Like, oh, I'm passing, I'm passing. No, I'm not. It, there was like, I'm think. I mean, I don't know. You need a free throw. You need a free throw play. And when I say a free throw play, I'm talking about a one-step drop, a one-step drop, maybe a three-step drop, but it depends. It depends. One-step, three-step drop. Ball should be out. Ball should be out. But maybe the players, maybe those players in the teams, they understood the situation, so that's why it happened the way they happened. But it was a very underwhelming way to win the Super Bowl. Maybe we've been spoiled by the Patriots. Maybe we've been spoiled by Kansas City. Maybe we've been spoiled by Tampa Bay. But Tampa Bay just flat out demolished Kansas City. And then San Francisco just forgot to run the ball again against Kansas City. Maybe we just been spoiled by the big moments. That's another thing. I can't think of the big moment. The, I will say this. It wasn't a big moment, but maybe it was a it was a big drive. That the 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 game winning touchdown drive to Cooper Cup, that drive itself was spectacular. It was Matthew Stafford saying, Coop, I need you. <laughs> Cooper Cup. I don't care if you triple or quadruple covered, you're getting the ball. That's basically what Matthew Stafford said. And they went downfield. And then that touchdown pass was very reminiscent of, I'm not going to say it was the same, but it was very reminiscent of Santonio Holmes and Ben Roethlisberger. So um, that drive was probably more so the bigger than it was it wasn't a big moment. I don't remember seeing a big moment, but like I said, I was at work. So maybe there was a there was a catch or a play that was that was bigger in the moment. Um 
I know there was a uh, like like that play to uh, the uh, I think it was the T Higgins touchdown right after halftime. That was a big play. There was another big play. It was very subtle, but it was another big play. I think it was made by the Bengals. I think Joe Mixon had ran just ran the ball very well um, when they really needed it. You know what I mean? Or it might have been the Rams. It might have been Cam Akers. And he he ran the ball like the Rams could not run the ball to save their lives. But he made a big run. That was that was kind of big, but regardless of that, um, as I said in my last video, as I said in my last video, um, really trying to figure out. I mean, the Rams did it their way. Oh. Side note, the Rams are going to have a crappy-ass season next year. Just get ready. <laughs> get ready. They are not going to be that good. They're going to be okay, but they're not going to be that good. They, they got a lot of contracts coming up. They don't have any draft picks, and they're, cap, they're in cap hell right now. So don't be surprised. This was kind of the point. We're, gonna, we're, going, to, we're going to mortgage the team for two or three years to win a Super Bowl, and they did. So Sean McVay, so what's going to happen? Sean McVay's coaching is going to really show this next season, I believe. I mean, obviously, well, I don't know. Is Cooper Cooper Cup was drafted in 2017, but he was a third round pick. So I guess they I guess they re upped him. And of course, Matthew Stafford will be there. Not sure about Aaron Donald's or Jalen Ramsey's um, contract situation, but we'll see. But um, the Rams are not going to be that good next year. At least speculation says they're not going to be that good next year. But we'll see. Um, Bengals. I, I, like I told you, I, I would have rathered the Bengals to win. But in my heart of hearts, I knew they weren't going to win. The, the Rams were just, they, they, they were on a mission. And especially, and then this is just me. This is speculation, so y'all don't have to believe it if you don't want to. Um, they 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 were doing a lot of they were doing a lot of talking about Aaron Donald and the elusive ring. They were doing a lot of that, so I kind of took that as a cue that I think the Rams are going to win. Um, the Bengals. Joe Burrow, I still believe in Joe Burrow. Um, the offensive line fell apart, man. They fell apart when they when they really didn't need them to. And I saw when the narrative, when the narrative was when they were talking about how the offensive line has held up all game long, and then all of a sudden they fell apart. I knew I was like, that's the narrative they wanted. That's that was the narrative they wanted to to um, produce, if you will. That's the narrative that they wanted to make when it came to the offensive line. And with that said, um, and then right on cue, the offensive line fell apart in the fourth quarter. Joe Burrow got sacked like seven times. It was like every time I looked up, he was getting sacked. I'm just like, oh, my goodness. But um, I think the Bengals – and then the Bengals are in the hands down one of the toughest divisions in football. Cincinnati, Cleveland, Baltimore, and Pittsburgh. And there's nobody else close. The only other team, the only other division that's close was the um NFC West, which is where the Rams came from. But um uh, yeah. So so it's gonna be tough for Cincinnati. They they're gonna have to hope for a lot of things. They're gonna have to hope Pittsburgh, you know, with Ben Roethlisberger uh, retiring, they're gonna have to hope Pittsburgh doesn't come back the same way. Um, Lamar Jackson is he going to get back to his MVP form? Uh, is Baker Mayfield really the answer in Cleveland? And then coming off all them injuries, we'll see, man. 
We'll see. But um, Rams win. I'm happy for Aaron Donald. Happy for Matthew Stafford. Happy for Jalen Ramsey. Um, Andrew Whitworth. Shout out to the 40-year-old man. 40-year-old left tackle doing it big. Getting his Super Bowl ring. Shout out to Andrew Whitworth. Um, Yeah, man. And I think he was NFL man of the year, too. So, He's having he's having a wonderful year. So good for them. Um, wish nothing but the best. I hope Cincinnati can bounce back from this. Um, I hope they bounce back from this. You hate to really see, you know, a lot of teams once they lose the Super Bowl, it is demoralizing. It's demoralizing. Like, like it's demoralizing. A lot of teams aren't able to get back. Um so I, just, I I pray for their mental health, and I pray that they're able to get better, do better, and um, get back to the pinnacle of things. Um, it's going to be a good season next year. It always is. Every you know, it just you miss football for so long. I mean, it's February. Well, it's today's the February fourth. Um, it's the fourteenth of February. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Um. So from this point, free agency will start in March. Uh, the draft is in April. And then from April, May, June, and then July, no football. None. None. So really from February all the way to July, no football. <laughs> no football. <laughs> How are we going to get through it? I guess I'll watch the NBA. I'm more of a football fan than the NBA fan. But uh, you know, shout out to my barbershop, to Elite Barbershop in Kennesaw. Uh, I tried to tell y'all, James Harden does not want it. <laughs> Everybody in that show is like, James Harden, James Harden, gonna, James Harden in the next, gonna, they going to do it. I'm like, okay. Okay, whatever y'all say. And now he's a Philadelphia 76 And And personally, I think he just made that team worse. I think he just made that team worse. Ben Simmons going to the, going to the Brooklyn Nets, the jury is still out. But I do not think James Harden made the 76ers better at all. I don't, I don't think. I don't think, but that's another that I'm, this is about the Super Bowl. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, um, thank y'all for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, comment, help your boy out. Uh, support never the loan, never the loan. <laughs> support never alone company. Uh, paying off your student loans through crowdfunding. And I love you all. Have a blessed day. Peace.